Well, Rex is an outstanding business leader. Uh, he does his homework. He always comes prepared. He's very knowledgeable about foreign affairs. Uh, and, uh, you know, obviously, he's someone that's extremely well qualified, I think, in foreign issues. What do you think about the complicated relationship that we have as a nation uh, with Russia and his business sure. relationship? With well, you know, he runs one of the largest uh, companies in the world, uh, meets with world leaders all the time. So that obviously makes him pretty knowledgeable in dealing with foreign leaders and understanding foreign issues. As Secretary of State, however, you know, one has to put the national interests first. Is he friends with Putin personally or, uh, or just he, doing deals with him? He, he deals with uh, Putin as a government leader, as he would any government leader where he has to do business. Um, and let's talk about Rick Perry. Sure. Well, what, what, what do you make of what uh, uh, him being the energy secretary? Well, look, it's clear that the Trump administration puts uh, a high priority on energy, that oil and gas are engines of economic growth going forward. Obviously, as governor of Texas, uh, Governor Perry knows oil and gas. All right. Where do you land on what this all means for someone who's actually going to be visiting with Donald Trump today, which is Elon Musk? Right. And all of the clean energy efforts uh, that have taken place thus far. Well, I know you had Bill Gates on yesterday, and you know I think you know investment and innovation in clean energy is important, but we're going to need all of the above uh, to have sustainable development for the world. And while uh, renewable energy, I think in the next 25 years will grow faster uh, in the energy mix than any other supply source, oil and gas, according to the International Energy Agency, is still going to be 50 percent of the mix in 2040. So we're going to need oil and gas for economic prosperity, and we're also going to need renewables. You need both. It's a very diplomatic answer. But I mean, behind closed doors, the CEO of oil and gas companies, are they secretly celebrating because not only do you have Rick Perry, the Texas governor, and his DOE secretary, you've got Rex Tillerson, secretary of state, possibly, sure, and then you've got somebody heading the EPA who has worked to challenge EPA regulations. I mean, this is like a trifecta of well, amazing news for the energy industry, no? Well, you have to realize oil and gas are important to our economy. It's good for jobs. They're high-paying jobs. It's also good for investment. Uh, oil and gas investment is very important to economic growth, and it's also good for national security. So at the end of the day, I think people have to realize that oil and gas are important to our economy. I think an important thing to note, uh, two years ago, conventional wisdom was when oil prices were down, it was good for the stock right. market. Actually, if you it's look reversed. at this year, high oil prices actually make the stock market higher. So oil and gas are important to future econo economic growth and also the stock market in the country. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.